Guys, do you hear that? Is that a UFO? Hello, welcome to Swiss Watch King, the place where we show watches from all over the world, all shapes, sizes and price points. Today's mechanical art piece will blow your mind. It's an actual UFO, but in this case it's an unidentified floating object, not a flying object. I'm extremely happy to talk about one of the most complicated pieces on this channel so far this year. Let's unbox it together. This magnificent clock comes in a wooden custom heavy crate reminiscent of the past. The whole philosophy is merging the worlds of the past, present and the future. Once you open up the lid, the adventure takes place. There's a winding key inside which we'll use a bit later, booklets, instructions and in the middle there's this beautiful machine, a piece of mechanical art. This one was created exclusively for Bucher by Ulysse Nardin and the masters of all things cool mechanical clocks, Lepe. The color of this 30 piece limited edition is ice blue and if you want to buy one, just check the links in the video description below or contact Bucher directly. They're the only retailer in the west to offer this mesmerizing edition. Ulysse Nardin is known for creating beautiful watches and always pushing boundaries. In fact, one of my first watches was a first generation Ulysse Nardin Marine, a watch that I still own today. I love the variety in today's collection as well, especially the Marine and the Freakline. My favorites being the Marine Torpilleur, Torpilleur Moonface and the Marine Mega Yacht, obviously. From the Freakline, I love the Freak X, great price performance, the Freak 1 and obviously the new Freak S, what a watch. If you want me to review any of them, leave a comment down below and also tell me what you like. This clock is directly linked to Ulysse Nardin's rich history, a company which started back in 1846 with crafting highly accurate marine chronometers. These were used by over 50 navies all over the world, from the end of the 19th century till the 1950. Back then everything was analog and these instruments were crucial for navigation. Essentially a marine chronometer was carried onto the ship in a crate like this one to help navigate the waters. It was used to determine longitude by comparing Greenwich Mean Time and the time at the current location found from observations of celestial bodies and the stars. The construction and details on this clock are spectacular. The whole piece is created to mimic and negate the effects of shocks of its surroundings. The first marine chronometers were kept in this crate like in a type of a gimbal or a cage of sorts, where this one has a weight in the base of it. So on the bottom there's a brushed ice blue aluminium base and inside it a tungsten counterweight, about 3.1 kilograms heavy. The whole clock in comparison is heavy as well, 7 kilos. The height is 26.4 centimeters and the so-called diameter is 15.9 centimeters. Then we have the time setting and manual winding holes where you put in the key. Above that you can see the six spring barrels and another level up there's the power reserve indicators. This clock features a mind blowing one year power reserve, so you won't have to worry about winding it for quite some time. Although I think it's very pleasing and satisfying to do so. Above it we have the gear train and the three skeletonized dials for obviously three different time zones. The ice blue color really pops on those and I love the matte grained finish style on them. Overall a very readable dial featuring only polished hour and minute hand. On the very top you can find the balance wheel beating at only 0.5 Hz frequency. That's only 3600 vibrations per hour, compared to a standard watch with 4 Hz achieving 28800 vibrations per hour. Due to its low frequency, this clock also features a deadbeat second, so you can see the seconds and only moving once every obviously second. Sometimes people think that this slow movement of the second hand shows you that the watch is quartz powered. But that isn't the case, we can find deadbeat seconds indication in many high-end wristwatches. The winding and setting of the clock is extremely satisfying, you essentially take this custom you just a winding key and you just go for it. When all the gears start moving, it really gets my watch collector heart going. And it's kind of a meditation as well. It's similar to winding your manual wound watch before you go about your day. An intimate moment between man and machine. There's different holes around the base, one for each style and also one for winding the movement of course. These are spread through the side of the base under each appropriate position. The whole architecture is spectacular and no wonder since it's made of 675 carefully assembled components. I would love to have this at home or here in the office or the studio. That's the beautiful thing about collecting clocks versus other art. Instead of buying an expensive painting or sculpture, just buy a clock like this. It's often more affordable than some oil paintings, usually much redder, as well as also in my opinion, just cooler. 
The first UFO came out in 2021 and has been sold out. So this ice blue version, which is available at Bucher, the only retailer in the West to offer it is really rare. And there have been only 30 pieces created in total. The number is also visible by the supplied plaque on top of the brushed plate. The glass dome protecting the movement is a story of its own. The whole glass, which is slightly more snug at the base of the clock, has been handcrafted. It has been created in Switzerland at Lake Neuchâtel. A single artisan blows the 3mm thick glass into existence. The temperatures reach as high as 1500 degrees and painstaking process has a 50% fail rate. So one of every two attempts are successful. The process takes about 45 minutes to create and as I can imagine, years of practice to even come to this point to do so. Those of you who spend more time on the lakes or oceans will immediately recognize the shape of this clock. It's essentially inspired by a water buoy, helping navigating the boats and also fighting with the ocean waves and neatly balanced at the end of the day to remain above water. The whole clock is also a human touch to it, the message of finding balance in your life. I think this is a great mix of watchmaking, art and also storytelling. If you want to buy this video for creation, it's available for 65,000 Swiss francs, including VAT. Or if you want to know the price in dollars, it's 68,600 US dollars without VAT. The best way, obviously, is to contact Bucher directly for more information or just check the links in the video description. Overall, this clock is a great interpretation and fusion of Lise Nadan's rich history of marine chronometers, Lippe's craftsmanship and a strong retailer's vision with a positive and creative outlook on the future. I just love all the little details this clock entails and also I loved filming it, discovering all the beautiful nuances and finishing techniques. Special thanks to Bucher for being a partner of my channel and also trusting me with this clock. I really appreciate it. This obviously helps me grow the channel and show you guys some sick watches in the future. Let me know what you think about the UFO in the comment section below. Check out the links. And also guys, as always, I'll see you next week.